Welcome to James Bond Fan Events. Give us five minutes, we'll give you James Bond. Today we're playing with James Bond, the COA game. I want you to benefit from my experience, so I'm going to say some things that are controversial, and I'm going to give you some solid advice on how to get authentic posters, props, books from the James Bond films and novels. I want you to benefit from my advice. I've done six figures in bond sales, and I've done many buys in recent years alone. I've supplied to auction houses my items or items from trusted friends, even single items worth $100,000 or more on their own, to Julian's auctions, heritage auctions, prop store auctions, Vectus auctions, premier props, and more. I've bought from another dozen auction houses at live auctions. I've bought from stores. I've bought from individuals. I've wheeled and dealed and horse traded. And on eBay, I had nearly a 1,300, 100% positive user rating. And there are many eBay and auction house buyers who must have a COA. If I've been asked that once, I've been asked a hundred times, do you have a COA for this item? What is a COA? A Certificate of Authenticity. It's a simple acronym. It's merely a paper with a seller's insignia or imprimatur authenticating that you, the holder of the COA, are buying a genuine proper other item. And almost 100% of the time, in my expert opinion, COAs are basically worthless. You're joking. I never joke about my work, 007. Let me explain. Well, maybe not always worthless. I can always use them as scrap paper to write your email address to subscribe to my Bond e-zine. Now, how can you say that, Matt Sherman? How can you say such a thing about COAs? Let me give you a couple of reasons why in this video and then more in subsequent videos. Number one, auction houses are typically in a rush to sell their wares. They're selling items for a 20% commission. eBay and PayPal is about a 14% commission on a basic sale. Some auction houses I've worked with take 30 or 36% of a sale or a purchase. And not all auction houses are fraudulent by any means. They have genuinely good outlooks and outcomes. But Christie's and Sotheby's, the biggest names in the business, a few years ago were fined huge fines, millions of dollars, for forming a cabal to manipulate art auction prices. And these auction houses, when they're on their best game and they're not acting fraudulently, are still in a rush, moving hundreds of items per week. They're churning items and they don't have time to research individual items. If I buy a prop and you're a stranger to me, there might be 20 or 30 emails back and forth. Maybe you're comfortable with the sale or I'm comfortable with the sale, but we need to learn more, get to know each other, hear about the providence of the history of the item and so on. But an auction house is moving 500 items a week. I want full newspaper coverage. I want magazine stories. I want books. I want films. I want TV. I want radio. I want us on the air 24 hours a day. This is our moment. They don't have time to research if what they're selling is real, but they're going to go ahead and write a COA because their name is their brand. Number two, COAs can be made by anyone. So check their reviews. Do you have Microsoft Word? Can you sign a piece of paper with a pen? Then you can make a COA from your business and say, I authenticate that this gadget, widget, gun, matchbook, coat, exploding milk bottle, Zukovsky caviar tin from the world is not enough is genuine. So what? So I want to know not just who I'm buying from, but what kind of reviews they have online. And generally fans will say this auction house is difficult to deal with. This eBay seller is good to deal with and so on. That's obvious, and of course, but COAs, my friend, ooh -hoo, they are not always worth the paper they're written on. You need to know the story or the provenance of where you're getting your item from, and we're going to talk about that next. Thanks for subscribing to James Bond Fan Events here at YouTube, and thank you for considering Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. I love him. Thank you.